touch me. You can Yeah, so my shoes, don't what? fucking be a douchebag about that shit. All right, so I hear your statement. Mm -hmm. I hear the other two statements. I've got- Karens are everywhere, and I bet most of you will agree that they are the worst people to deal with. Sadly, police officers have the privilege to meet a handful of them on the job, from crazy Karen who fired a gun and fought the cops. We're going this way, ma'am. Yeah, are you fucking really? Okay, no. Hey, kitty pie! Okay, stop. Okay. Can you stand up for us? The sweater doesn't help. Okay, no, don't kick. No! Yeah, I'm going to fucking kick! No, you're not. Yeah! Fucking cut that shit, bitch. Glad you came up here. Glad to be here. So I yeah. To another Karen who pulled a sword at her neighbor. Looking at me. So I got out of the car and I had my sword on the side of my hand. I was like, what are you doing? What you doing? Like, what's going on? And he went to argue with me. Oh, you talking about move the truck. We moving the truck, this, that, and the other. But he never moved the truck. Here are three times cops had to deal with Karens while on duty. A cop was on bar patrol on December 10th, 2021, when he received word over the radio. It was a report about a woman who fired a shot outside a local gastro pub. By the time he got there, a good Samaritan had the woman restrained and removed from her gun. I think at this point, we can already call her Karen. Karen was also obviously intoxicated and was very combative with the police. Here's what happened. She shot off a gun in front of us. Is he injured? Yeah. Nope. She shot off a gun in my ear. I have the gun in my hand. Okay. It's here. right here. Stand, stand over here for me. Uh, good, sir. I'm going to just, just you work work away. Away. Yeah. Hurt her. Okay. Hey, just can I have everybody hey, just step back? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you okay, guys. Yeah. I did not hurt her. Off. Hey, Lewis. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. She fired at people. You got it? I'm so sorry. Can I have you get up? Just yeah. fucking Is she on our me. She's on our Thank you guys for being here. Can you stand up? Can somebody have a gun? No, yeah, he's got it back there. As soon as you fired, I put it in the jiu-jitsu bamboo. I think we're going to fire the round we have for the team. Does anybody need medics? For what? She's okay. Actually, we're we'll taking medics for uh, the female detainees. She's like, kind of small, meaning on her hand. She's up. Hey, stand up. Where was she exactly standing? When she right here. Oh, right here? What's it, everybody? Can I have you stand up for me? Oh, you don't have to get out here as far fucker. as I can. Fucker! I'm not a fucker. I didn't do nothing. We're going this way, ma'am. Yeah? Are you fucking really? Okay, no. Hey. Pie. Okay. Karen kept on falling to the ground as the police escorted her to their cruiser, and after they put her in, she started to resist and used her legs to prevent the car door from closing. At one point, she even attempted to kick one of the cops. Okay. Can you stand up for us? The sweater doesn't help. Jesus. <laughs> There's a name on that card, probably, if you want to try that. Mm. Man, this would be a lot easier if you just stopped doing that. You're not going to kick him, and I can't you get can your pockets. Oh. I mean, 
it is what it is. Well, I want to get to that pocket and I don't want him to get kicked. He's a nice guy. Yeah. No, I mean, I guess he is. Yeah, but... he's, he's treat we're treating you just fine. Please don't kick us. No, I'm not arguing against that shit. Okay, well then stop kicking him. That's why I stopped. Well, okay, we're on the same page now at least. Yeah, at least oh we my got God. there. Fucking hell. Right, any other knives on you? Anything no, else sharp? Sorry. Well, and yeah, there is a fucking knife there. Where's the knife? Where? <gasps> is that the one that uh, fell out already? Is it what? What did that knife look like? Is it? Cleared in yet? The White. Yeah. What did the handle look I, like? I White. Her initially. Are you injured at all, ma'am? Do I fucking look like I'm it? I'm asking you because I'm like my fucking. The crazy woman obviously did not want to cooperate and continued to hinder their operation. And because Karen wouldn't let the police put her inside the cruiser, she was dragged out and carried to another vehicle, which she was not very happy about. He's asking you, do you need medics at all? Do you need medical attention? Are you hurt? Let's just get him to. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to put your leg down. But we you don't get Do you Please. fucking want to? I would, yes. Well, hey, what's your name? Hey, stop. Hey, what's yeah. your name? Savannah. Savannah, we don't yeah. we don't want to hurt your leg and That's we don't want to super nice. Listen to me, Savannah. Savannah. Can you put We don't want If I get kicked in the face, I'm gonna be pretty upset with you. That's super nice! Okay. Oh my god, fucking do it, bitch! Okay. You wanna move her to mine? I got a back page. Yeah. It's like right back there. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight. <laughs> Let's get on your feet, Savannah. Stand up for us. Alright. Medic should be in here at some point. Oh, shit. Fucking hearts. No. Oh, hey, yep. Thank you. Yes. Yes, hearts. Oh, my God. Then you look on the other side, you just drag your across the Karen continued to kick and squirm, making it impossible for the cops to pull her up. But despite that, the police remained patient and handled her with minimal force. Hey, Savannah, can we roll you on your side now? Yeah, we can. Good job, Savannah. All right, thank you. She's got an active CPL. Okay, no, no. Uh, more kicking, all right? Yeah. You got us all pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she can't yeah. do it. Yeah. Oh, no fucking kicking. Yeah, you need to stop. We're yeah. trying to help you. You're a fucking douchebag. You know, this is all about, though. Right. Right. We, yeah. We're not the ones to ask. You can do it with I think, uh, who was talking to the victim guy? There's a bigger dude out hey, front. Can you victim. calm down for us, young lady? There's a victim Why? guy out front. Okay. Pulled the gun off. My okay. Okay. But I think we just want to lay you on your side. Let us lay you on your side, okay? Yeah. All right, lay on your side. You. But don't kick you. anybody, all right? Fucking piece of shit. No, we're not. Hey, that's my yeah. shoe. Yeah, Let go. We're trying to help. Stop trying to grab us. No, stop us. There you go. Are you going to have enough chance for her to jail, right? Is that what we're going? Or is there something... Does she need to go to the hospital? Uh, other than being intoxicated. Yeah, she'll go straight to the back of jail, probably. Okay. I just didn't know if they wanted to... And after a few tries, the cops were able to secure the obnoxious Karen in the police cruiser and drive her to jail. However, the woman was still not over. Do we want a laser string? Uh, I'll, I'll ride with you. Stop, stop grabbing my legs. Sure? Don't grab onto me. Yeah, because I love your fucking legs. Stop it. Oh my God, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. 
Let's just sit her up. Let's pop her up, yeah. make it clear, and then we're going to turn her and go. As they clear, sit up. Yeah. Sit up. Sit up, Savannah. Do you have any of you back? Yeah. Are any of you barf patrol guys doubled up? Uh, no. Oh, no. They're really Where are you at? Where did you lose your shoes? shoes at? No, they're right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, I promise no, your shoes are going with you. Savannah, you got to work with us a little bit, okay? Don't sit back so you don't have to lay on the ground. Yeah, my shoes. Back. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, so my shoes, don't fucking be a douchebag about that shit. Sure you your yeah, shoes. no, fucking grab my goddamn shoes, bitch. No. no. Yeah, no, I mean, fucking she's... grab my shoes, bitch. Okay, she's fine, let's go. Okay. Let's get her in and go. Right. No, I'm sorry. All right, let's right. stand you up, we're gonna sit you down oh, in the car. Jesus. Okay? Perfect. Are you gonna stand up for us? Perfect. I'm trying. Fuck. There you go. Where's she in there? Grab my shoe. We're grabbing please, it. Please, Mike. Okay. Please. Do you have stuff? Fuck hey, yes. well, please. Watch your foot. Right there. Let's go. Yeah, I'm kicking. Why are you? All right. Five four two. Show me transporting female to jail. Okay. Savannah, please stop kicking. Hey, you have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed for you, okay? However, it was only half the job done, especially after she went into full Karen mode and continued kicking at the back of the car. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, come on, Trooper. Can I cut you? I got an uncooperative. The woman was taken into custody and was charged with two counts of first degree assault and one count of third degree assault. If you think randomly firing a gun in public is bad enough, wait until you hear what this next Karen did. Spoiler alert, it involves a sword. The incident happened on November 12, 2022. The St. Petersburg Police Department was called to an apartment complex when a crazy Karen brandished a two-foot sword and threatened a guy. The victim said that the suspect got into her car and started becoming upset with him as he was unloading stuff from a truck. Witnesses also backed up that statement. Hey guys, did any of you guys happen to see a woman out here brandishing a knife or a sword or anything like that? My mom stays in that one right there. I'm actually waiting on, waiting on my He wouldn't know. 1129? Yeah, you were asking him. He was like really... Hi, how are you? Sorry, you were out here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What did you see? Alright, so we parked in this spot originally. She came up, um, I guess we were in her parking spot, so we have stuff in our hands, we have to like unload it and I guess we wasn't moving fast enough for her. So we're trying to unload off everything off the tailgate, you know, I'm over there going back and forth running, finishing that building and place I literally place everything right there. Okay. So it takes time to empty all that stuff, look up the lift gate and move. Okay. She's over here honking, honking, impatient. She, where was she at? She like, was, where were your officers? Okay, so she's more. like at the driveway, yeah, just yeah. inside the driveway. Yeah. So that's okay. She, okay, she's over there in the car. Yep. Okay. So she got out of the car. She had a sword or something. Yeah, like a sword, katana, whatever you want to call it. About to, I don't know if she was about to swing. How, how long was this sword? Oh ma'am, it was. It's a sword. It's a like sword. the length of your arm? Yes. I see you holding your yeah. arms like yeah. this. Okay. It's a sword. It was definitely a sword, katana, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And she just like back and forth. I I don't know. It was it's a mess. Okay. Okay, so she So we moved the truck. You're welcome. So okay, we, so when, when she was out with the sword, mm -hmm. how far away in feet, average, were you guys away from her? Um, she got up next to the door. He was in the truck. Yeah, I kept my distance because it, it's a sword. I it's a sword, them. yeah. yeah. Uh, so she walked right up to up, the truck. Yeah, right next to it. Like, she, if she wanted to, she could just, you know, swing it. And he, he was in striking distance. Okay. She got right up to the truck. 
but we're trying to back up and she's still going on. She's looking at, he's looking at her so I just make sure not to hit her or like it cause any more of a scene and I guess he wasn't paying attention so he backed up into her. Did like the the truck hit the car? Right there. After a while, the Karen in question walked back to the scene and was interrogated by the cop. It turns out that the whole fiasco started because her parking spot was occupied by the victim. We got called out here. Our call said something about a sword. Yeah. And that's, that's what we got before we got here. Can you right. tell me what happened to... Yes. yes, as I pulled up, they were... Whatever the boot truck was was where I'm parked at right now. Okay. Um, I sat right here. One of them, the... The one with the red thing on his head uh, was walking from the truck, and I said, hey, bro, what's up? What y'all doing? I said, you're in my parking spot. Can you move? He said, okay. So he yelled to, I guess, yeah, the one, the driver. He yelled to the driver and said, you got to move the truck. As he was walking back to this apartment right here, he had a ladder in his hand. Who had the ladder? The driver. Okay. So he was walking to this apartment over down here to put, I guess, I don't know. He was putting a ladder in there, so I sat there. So he went inside the apartment. No, first he walked back to the truck. So that thought we, that's when we thought he was gonna move. Okay. He didn't. He left the truck, walked back to the apartment, went in the apartment, and stayed in the apartment. Okay. So I said, Mom, what's going on? It was just me and my mom in the car. So he never came back out. So I blew the horn, and then all of a sudden he came out of the apartment. Both of them came out of this apartment down here and that, and that apartment down there. This one. The one with the red was walking back to the truck with something in his hands. He was he started coming. This one, the driver, walked to the truck, and he went to the back of the truck. He started putting stuff on on the back of the truck. Where, where were you at for this? Still sitting here. Okay, in the car. Yeah, still sitting in the car. So they're basically they're putting stuff on the back of the truck. So we're still waiting, and as we're waiting, the one with the red walked from the truck and was walking like towards this apartment over here. So the one in the, the driver was still in the back of the truck. So I seen him letting up the bed. So I'm like, okay, mom. Karen continued to tell her story. And when she got to the part where she was explaining why she decided to pull her sword out, here is what she had to say. He said something to me. He, he um He's not talking to you, he's talking to me. But the tone that he's talking to me, and I said, well, who are you talking to like that? Don't talk to me like that. So he started proceeding on talking about you got an attitude, this, that, and the other. No, I don't. You don't know me. What are you talking about? So he was arguing with me the whole time as he was getting in the truck. So as me and him arguing, I'm telling him, just shut up. You don't the guy even, in the red? Yeah. Okay. You don't even need to talk to me. I'm a whole woman out here. I guess the whole man in the house that you could talk to if you really want to talk to somebody. Because the way it was, he was calling me bitches, a whole kind of shit. So I'm arguing with him, telling him to shut up. You don't got to say nothing to me, but if you want to argue, I got somebody you can argue with. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I look up. When I look up, the truck, he don't pull out of the truck, but he's sitting right here at my window, looking at me like, like. Where was the truck? He pulled, he pulled right here. The truck was facing that way? He was facing this way. Okay. But I was pulling up, so, cause I thought he was moving so mm -hmm. I can park. So as I'm, as I'm moving up, he moving up, but he moved next to my car and just sat there and was just looking at me. So I got out of the car and I had my sword on the side of my hand. I was like, what are you doing? What you doing? Like, what's going on? But because pulling out a sword on your neighbor is not really something a decent human being usually does, Karen was arrested on the spot. He went to argue with me. Oh, you talking about move the truck? We moving the truck, this, that, and the other. But he never moved the truck. So I got back in the car, and when I got back in the car, he said, you got a sword and I got a gun. And I think I stopped talking to him. I don't know, I let up my window by then. It's right. It's your little girl, man. She'll always be your little girl. She'll always be mama's little girl. Exactly. Like my parents tell me that all the time. I'm like, I'm not little anymore. And they're like, you're always our little girl. Yeah. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me. Okay, let me give them my purse. Yep, okay. I'll put it down nicely. Okay, okay. okay. So what I'm going to do for? I'm going to explain it to you. Let me get these on here. Put your hands together like you're praying. So am I, though? I'm going to explain it all to you. Let me just get these on here, okay? Okay. It looks like they're taking her into custody. Sir, don't approach them while they're handcuffing her. Just give give them a moment to do their thing. 
Yeah. Hold on. We'll Let him explain. Hold on. Hold on. We'll work it out. All right. So I hear your statement. Mm -hmm. I hear the other two statements. Mm -hmm. I've got. Oh, I've got a witness telling me that the sword was out of the sheath. You had it raised up. You made the threat. You were up at the window. He was in fear for his life. So you're under arrest for aggravated assault, okay? Uh, and that's because of the witnesses. Obviously, I wasn't here, but throughout the investigation, these are the statements that I've gotten. Okay. I've got your statement, I've got his, and I've got a witness, okay? What's wrong with my witness? What's, what do you mean? My mama. It's your mom. She's not independent. Got to give y'all arrested, though. Wait, wait, wait. They'll, They'll come over and charge you. They're saying that they believe in they statement over her, so they saying she guilty right now. Guilty she ain't going to say, though, because nobody All seen nobody. All of this is nobody, hearsay. But, yeah, nobody seen nobody. So they'll arrest her right now. Y'all arrested her for hearsay. And y'all saying that she guilty. Talk to you in one minute. We'll explain it all to you. All right. It also looks like Karen's companions were not really happy about the outcome of the investigation, even though the woman literally threatened her neighbor with a sword, like a real-life katana. And they work together, so they independent? Well, we've got statements from them saying that you committed the aggravated assault. Which is a but felony. I didn't. I know. And well, my mama I mean, was I know in that's the what you're me. So, based on by what they're telling you, that overrides what I'm telling. It's based on the investigation as a whole, okay? So, obviously, I wasn't here. You're innocent until proven guilty. That's stuff that you got to sort out with through, the, I'm in through the jail. For to go to jail. Well, you're under arrest for the, the aggravated assault, okay? They, they say I did to them. Right. So let's go go talk this way, okay? Come get my purse. Hold on. I'll, I'll hand it to him. You want him to have the whole thing, right? Yeah. Okay. I ain't interfering with nothing. I'm asking this man. He's breaking yep. me a purse. I'm asking him to ask a question. Y'all, 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 y'all stop over exerting everything. Sir, what's your first so, thing? I'm asking y'all a question. Why are y'all arresting her? What's your first name? I'm asking you a question. Why are y'all arresting her? So we can talk. I'm Officer Bong. I ain't asked your name. So, so I, I'm, 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 I'm just you as a human being. Remember, so, how we're like gonna that. have have just a, a normal oh, conversation. Right. So, so yeah. So we I'm asking you. So why we so why we arrest okay. them? I'm gonna fully explain it. Let me get her secure with my partner, and then we will talk to you guys and answer any questions you have. Okay. But uh, this what I'm saying. 10, 12, 10, 15. This, this is what I'm not yes, understanding. Y'all yeah. taking her away, and y'all telling us to wait. That y'all take her away before we ask y'all why, because. Sir, because to be, to obviously be fair, right now y'all saying that she guilty of whatever they said. To be fair, we don't have to give any explanation, I know that. but I'm I going know to that. give you an explanation. I, I know that. Okay? So I understand all the investigating that. officer is going to be right over there. I'm going to have him talk to you because I came after these two officers were even here. Okay. I don't have the full okay. full gotcha, picture, gotcha, and I want to make sure gotcha. you get the full picture, okay? Hey, hey, hey you bring right. me the purse. That's why I asked you that. I got you. Okay. Well, she asked me to do all that right. for you, so I want to make sure that was secure. Come on. Seat for me. So did y'all arrest as a black a black woman and all that? Cause I'm gonna go down here and call an anti-Semitic act of all y'all. Not playing. Cause she's a Moor, American. She ain't black. Color the African American man. So y'all got it in her paperwork. Y'all arrested a black female. In the end, Karen was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Last but not least, this finale Karen had a lot to say when officers pulled her over for a possible DUI. On October 4th, 2023, police officers observed a woman exceeding the speed limit while driving a gray Nissan. Of course, we are going to call her Karen. In response, the police turned on their emergency lights and initiated a traffic stop. But as the officer approached the vehicle, this Karen disclosed that she was preoccupied with her phone and that she was on her way home from the bar. However, we all know that admitting she was driving while using her phone is a no-no. Here's what happened next. All right, Daniel, first things first, I'm gonna ask you to put this away because this belongs to your friend. I'll also have to ask you to shut up the vehicle and step out and speak to me. All right, so real quick, you know, it is a bit of a concern when you're telling us that you were over at the bar. I know. And then, of course, I can smell the alcohol on your breath. You're a little bit slow. And you, yes, you yes. kept on driving. I'm sure I pulled up behind you. I have to tell you to stop over the loudspeaker. So at this time, I do have to reach you something real quick before I proceed any further. Now, just because I read this doesn't mean you're in trouble or anything. It's just a formality that I have to do. All right. Again, I'm Deputy Wynn, batch number 875. I have to ask you specifics for 
possibly drinking and driving. The officer is already getting a hint that Karen is drunk, but he needs to follow protocol and investigate to be 100% sure. So what did you have to drink over at Hooligans? I had a couple of glasses of wine. Okay. Do you normally go to Hooligans? No, never. But my kids were kidnapped from me. I'm sorry to hear that. It's in January, and I don't even know what to do at this point. I understood, understood. They were kidnapped me from me, from my ex-husband. So you had a little bit of a child custody issue with you and your kids? Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. And I'm just, like, trying to get through it, and then... Sunday is Easter. I've never been without them on Easter. Never ever have I been without them on Easter. I understood. Well, again, this is still a big concern of us, so would you be willing to participate in field sobriety exercises? I mean, sure, I don't know if I'll pass it, but, you know. I got like, you. I just... After telling her sob story, the officer went down to business and proceeded with the field sobriety test. And let's just say Karen had a hard time making it through. Danielle, do you understand the instructions? I don't want to do this. I understand, Danielle. Just be advised that if you refuse to take the SSFEs, the field sobriety, then a decision to arrest you may have to be made with what I have so far. Do you understand? Okay. All right, I'm going to start from the beginning, okay? Place your left foot on the line. Place your right foot on the line ahead of your left. With the heel of your right foot against the toe of your left. Keep your arms at your side like this. Do not start until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? Yes. When I tell you to begin, take nine heel to toe steps on the line. It'll look like this. One, two, three, so on and so forth. When you get to number nine, to turn around, Keep your left foot on the line, take several steps to turn around. When you turn on the ninth step, keep your front foot on the line, take several small steps with the other foot, take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. So one, two, three, so on and so forth. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay. You may begin. next exercise we're going to do is called the At this point, Karen knows it's almost impossible to convince the cops that she is sober. So, she went back to her initial tactics and narrated about her kids being kidnapped once more. Listen, I'm not a bad person. Like, I, I understand. Just, I don't know what to tell you guys. My kids were kidnapped away from me and I just don't know what to do anymore. Like, I just... I understand, Danielle. That's not why we're here today. Do you understand the instructions? You may begin. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Like, I can't even do that if I'm not drinking. Like, I can't even do that. Understood. Then tell you what, we'll, I'm, I'm not we'll go like to the I'm, next one. I'm we'll not, go to the next I'm one. I'm not like All right? a balanced person. If you can't do it, then, then we'll just go to the next one, okay? <laughs> The next one's called finger to nose. 
Bring the hand I direct upwards, touching the tip of your finger to the tip of your nose. What? I don't understand that. Like, what? When I tell you to, bring the hand I direct upwards, touching the tip of your finger to the tip of your nose. After touching your nose, immediately bring your hand down to your side. So it'll look like this. I'll tell your right hand, right. <sighs> Do you understand? So go ahead. We're going to begin. Close your eyes. Touch your head back. <laughs> Danielle, do you wish to continue? Yeah, it's so long. Let's say it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I can't do this. Like, I. My kids are taken away from me. I'm sorry. Do you refuse to participate in field sobriety then? No. I don't refuse. Okay. But I just, I just need a moment. I understand. <laughs> Not to pressure you, but I'm ready when you are. Do you remember the starting position? Sadly, the officer did not have it and continued with the test. This is when she finally unleashed her full Karen mood. That's the stupidest freaking shit I've ever heard. Like, what are I'm, you even I'm saying? Reading it, I'm reading it straight off the instructions. Do you understand the instructions so far? <laughs> Alright, Danielle, one more time. Do you wish to participate in this? If you do not wish to participate, then I will take that as a refusal. What does that even mean? So that means you're refusing to participate in this exercise. And then what? Then you a, go to jail? Then a decision to for your arrest will have to be made with the information that I have. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. I just want to go home. Like, I just... <laughs> My kids were taken away from me, like, over two months ago. And I don't even know what to do anymore at this point. Like, I can't even get them back. <laughs> I understand, but that's going to be a matter that will have to be solved in civil courts. I understand? I know that. I have a lawyer, I have all this stuff, but... Sometimes I just have to like get away from my, my freaking <laughs> space. You don't know. Do you have kids? Imagine if your kids were taken away from you. Imagine at 65 miles an hour you run into a kid and end their life instantly. Then their kids are taken away from their parents permanently. At this that time, would never happen. you are placed under arrest. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. And even during her arrest, this Karen is still having a hard time keeping her emotions in check. We're gonna call the owner of the vehicle. So that way, hopefully. All right, never mind. Can I call my boyfriend? At the jail. At the jail. I don't want to be out close to the road like that. That's weird. Okay. This vehicle, if you have anything on you, some poke me, probably stick me, cut me, anything else. If you take anything additional into a facility, it's an additional charge at a felony level. Do you understand? Yeah. I just want I don't to make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. No. Okay. Like, so no. I'm going to pat you down. Okay. Stand still. Please, no, I've never been arrested. Danielle, listen <laughs> to my so instructions. This is so weird. This is so weird. Like, just please. I don't... I've never been arrested before. I've never gone this way. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> but wait, there's more because, just like classic Karen, she started fighting the officers. Can you please call my boyfriend? No, you can have please, a seat. Please, Stop being a bitch to me. You can bitch. Have a seat. You. Watch your head. I'm oh. 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 
<laughs> this, these handcuffs hurt bad. I've never been in handcuffs before. They hurt. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be comfortable. You're such an asshole. Like, why would you do this to me? You're the, like, why would the would you do this to me? Because you were driving drunk. <laughs> I'm not driving drunk. You have me handcuffs in the back seat. Like, like I'm a criminal. I'm not a criminal. Like I, whatever, dude. <laughs> you, you piece of shit, mother chink. You. I promise you, you're the worst person on the face of this earth. <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh, it's so funny, right? So funny, right? Yeah, you're laughing, right? You! You. I don't give a if you're married or not. I'm not looking at you like that. I've never been in jail. I've never even been close to being in jail. <laughs> so I have to be in there with all those people. In the end, she was charged with DUI and was reduced to reckless driving. She was then sentenced to 12 months probation and paid $1,000 in fees.